The difficult balance between career and family is something San Diego Sheriff Deputy Daniel Somas knows all too well. He and his wife Emily have a 17-month-old son and a baby girl on the way. The hours I work, they're nights, weekends, holidays. I work overtime, so when you're working jails, you're working nights, days, hours, 12 and a half hour days, sometimes can be longer. This reality played a key role in the couple deciding that Emily would leave her job to be a stay-at-home mom. San Diego Sheriff Kelly Martinez says many workers in law enforcement face similar predicaments. When you're working a bunch of different hours and shift work and uh, weekends and holidays, you get called out. Uh, so to have reliable, uh, good child care is really important to all of our staff and our deputies. Uh, I was a single parent coming up in this organization, so I was lucky enough to have my parents nearby and they could watch my son, but that's not the case for everyone. The Sheriff's Department is trying to help parents within its ranks through a partnership with Tutris, a San Diego-based company that connects parents with vetted child care providers. Parents can search the Tutris database by location and by hours needed, including 24-hour shifts. The benefit of having accessibility to this application and all of these child care providers is you can compare and you'll have, you have more opportunity to know what's available, what's out there, what the cost is. So it really uh, provides the user the opportunity to shop uh, around for the best uh, service or the best provider for them. But the Sheriff's Department is only paying for the Tutris membership, not the child care. The San Diego Police Department is going a step further by constructing a daycare center for the children of police officers. This comes after a survey recently conducted by the police union showed 21 percent of police officers were thinking about leaving the department over child care issues. And the survey showed 59 percent had to leave or miss work because of child care problems. San Diego Council member Raul Campillo hopes these initiatives will also open the doors to more women in law enforcement. We're seeing a lot of need from city employees like police officers. Uh, dispatchers who also have to work through the night and sheriff's department deputy sheriffs who uh, have to take care of their kids in the evenings and nights when they're on the third shift throughout the nighttime. And so the fact that we're seeing people step up from our state legislature to our federal government to help fund that benefit just means that we're going to continue to recruit and retain really good peace officers, which we are desperately in need of uh, right now. The new daycare center for children of SDPD officers and staff is expected to open by the end of the year. We're really just excited that employers are starting to get into this conversation and start to realize the critical, critical support that child care plays in our keeping our workforce engaged. Kim McDougall is a senior vice president of social services for the YMCA of San Diego County. She says police agencies are not alone in making investments into the child care needs of their employees. But the child care industry is still suffering. There continues to be this lack of available care um, and a lack of the kind of care that families are looking for that, that is a barrier to a really high functioning child care system. Members of the Child Care Providers United Union have been marching in Sacramento for legislation that supports better pay and benefits for care workers. McDougall says this could be a critical step in strengthening the child care industry and providing help families are desperately looking for. Like the Somas family, with the Sheriff's Department's help in finding child care, Emily hopes to re-enter the workforce. My wife have, has ambitions to be a nurse, and it's one of the big things that I think comes with this child care is if she needs to go back to school, she's able to do that. Tanya Thorne, KPBS News.